Hello everyone, it's Lucas from Altus. Today, we are going to learn how to write and force values on master tool for the Nexto Express series. For this, we will be writing and forcing the values of the variable i00, which is our controller's digital input. We start assuming our project is in simulation mode and with the CPU turned on, check lesson 5 if you encounter difficulties. We can access variable i00 through GVL integrated I.O. Double click on integrated I.O. Now let's expand this field called digital inputs. Click on the plus symbol next to digital inputs. Finally, we have access to variable i00. We can see that it is already activated. To write the value of this variable, we can, for example, Select the false value in the prepared value field and then press Ctrl plus F7. Master Tool asks if we want to perform a value writing operation. Select the Yes option. The variable was set to false. Remembering that, since we are in a simulation environment, this operation becomes possible. It would not be possible to do the same when we download the program to the physical PLC as the digital input would be depending on the 24 volt signal at the input. But, what we could do, both in simulation mode and in mode with the physical PLC, would be, instead of writing a value, force this value regardless of whether 24 volts is arriving at the input of the physical PLC. To do this forcing, we must load a prepared value. So, select the true value in the prepared value field, and, Instead of pressing Ctrl plus F7, just press F7. Master Tool will ask if we want to perform a force values operation. Select the Yes option. We can see that Master Tool returns this value with a red F symbol on the left. It means that the value is forced. The difference between writing values and forcing values is that, when performing a value writing operation, some event in the logic may update the value of that variable, but, if a variable is forced, no event will be able to change that variable value. To change the value of a forced variable again, it is necessary for the user to perform an operation to unforce this value. We will perform this operation now. So, let's double click on the prepared value field. Now, select an option. Release the force without changing the variable's value, or, release the force and restore the variable to the value it had before forcing it. In this example, we are going to release the force without changing the variable value. Select this option and press OK. Then, we are going to press F7 again to force the unforced value. Select the Yes option and the value is now unforced. So, this was our sixth lesson for Nexto Express series. Don't forget to follow Altus channels on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks everyone, see you next time.